Hello, hello, hello there, guys. As promised, I'm coming back to you with um, a tutorial using the Tonic Craft Kit 41, which is the Sweet Sorbet. So I put together several cards. At first, I couldn't even get one card together. It, it just, I, I don't know why. Some days, just, it's, I want to say genius comes slow to me, but that would be a compliment to me. We're not talking genius. We're just talking any semblance of inspiration or knowing what the heck I want to do. But it finally came to me. So then I, I did, a, I took actually a couple of the samples I saw and did my own variation on them. And then this one, I just kind of pulled off the cuff. So I'm going to be doing three cards total, but I'm going to split them up like I've done before into each one of the separate videos because this one will take longer because I have, I will admit, it's a little bit fidgeting when you want to do these guys cattywampus. If I were just to do them straight up and down like a normal person would do, it wouldn't be an issue. But no. I have to do it differently, and I like doing things cattywampus. So it makes fidgeting, widgeting these guys in a little bit more tricky for me. But I'm going to be doing this, and then we're going, I'll give you tutorials on this guy and this guy. So these are all, this is kit 41, and it's still available, I believe. And I'm, really, I'm positive it's also available as a one-off. So I will, at the one, in the videos, link you to be able to buy the kit if you still are interested. I love it. Tonic gives you a lot of bang for your buck if you saw the unboxing already. I, I, and I will link that below as well. So give me just a couple of minutes. I'm going to come back and we're going to get started. Okay, guys? Alrighty, guys. I'm back. I'm here. We have the sample card here. I've got some of my pieces that I've already pre-cut to get us a little bit ahead of the game. So I have my two back panels, which are obviously the pieces that go right here. Then I got a couple of smaller pieces that I cut out. And these are going to be behind, if you can see, there we go, the behind the shaker bits. You see that? And I just used the, the flip side of the paper just to use up the paper. And then I cut two strips of the really, really pretty paper, which is what I'm gonna die cut my popsicles with. And that's where we're gonna start first is we're gonna die cut these pieces out because I've already taken the time out, let me set these aside, to tape my popsicles together so that they die cut out already. So we're gonna start with the pink one because the pink was on top. No more rhyme or reason than that. And all I'm gonna do, I have taped them. I already took the time to center the dies on each other and then I taped them took them by washi tape taped them together now I'm taping them to my cardstock what I'm doing is I tape on the inside so just on the offhand chance the my washi tape gets really happy and sticky it will it will only affect the inside panel which is what I am not using I hope to be able to use it for something else but at least then what is the more important part nothing happens to it so now I'm going to stick it I'm going to crack out a brand new folder for my marquee just so that because we're using good paper and my other one is getting very very well loved and kind of scratchy and not scratchy so much it is scratched up but once these get really used it actually will mar your paper you know but that's true of any embossing any any folder you use with any of the die cutting machines I have found that to happen but that very quickly I mean there you go I have got one popsicle already cut out now I'm going to come back and we'll set that piece of paper aside because we'll find another use for the other piece. Never waste paper. We all know this. And now I'm just going to do the same. Tape down my periwinkle because this is periwinkle blue. And it's not purple, but it's not brew. So it's not, and it's not brew. We're not talking beer here. It is blue or not blue in this case. It is periwinkle. And then just run it through real quick there we go and now we have both of our popsicles so we're half the battle now we've got these and let's set these right up here and we'll set these little pieces and I can use them later somewhere else or die cut out of them and now really all I need is this part so we can set these guys away because this is me. Did I pull them out? I thought I did. Maybe I did not. Let's. Nope, I did not. So, this part, this is because what we need is to die cut out the space in the paper to accommodate our little dome guys. And these guys are pretty darn tootin' and sturdy. And the one thing by wanting to do it cattywampus, 
I like I, I like doing it. I just I don't ever really see straight. I see everything kind of crookedy. In a way, it's a good thing because then you don't, it, it can be a little bit off, you know, whatever it is, off center, you, whatever, off kilter. And you don't have to explain it. You don't have to beat yourself up over, oh my gosh, I did this wrong. Because you can just say, well, hey, it's cattywampus. What I found is I struggled a bit in gluing this down later and getting it, the paper straight because it was cattywampus. Had I just done it straight... Uh, life would have been a lot easier for me, but there you go. Heaven forbid for me to do anything that made absolutely any sense whatsoever. That would just, I don't know why. There's just no excuse other than I am what I am. So move the card out of the way. Now we're going to grab our two panels. And all I got to do really is decide where this guy is going to go. And I got to leave enough space. So you kind of got to use this as a barometer because this has got to fall inside my paper. So whether we use that really or where is my, where'd he go? Holy cow, I'm hiding things from myself. I'm looking for the popsicles that I just die cut out themselves. There they are. They just went skidding across the box because actually this will work better almost. Ah, and I bent it myself, but it's a two-fold process. You want to make sure because this, like, if you notice, it's on the inside. So this just fits inside of this. But I got to make sure two things: one, that I have enough space for the bottom of this popsicle, but I also need to make sure there's enough space up here so that this fits all behind this paper. And that looks like a go. So I'm now going to take my push my tape down and then I'm going to do the same with the pink paper except I'm determined to use this and then I will make a big hole in my paper that will not work and then I will be very sad and cry and yada 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 trust me there's a reason why I say this okay <laughs> we don't say more I already did it so I already had that great sadness so let's not do it again Okay, let me just move that. I want to move it up. Let me at least set this a little bit straight. And then do my, my little crookedy thing. We do that. Let me make sure that there is enough space to hide. Let me move it up a little bit. Because there is room there. There we go. And that should, yeah, that gives me, this little one's a little bit easier to accommodate. The big one was more of the problem. Now let me do this also. What I want to do is pull the tape off the edge and into the middle. So just in case the tape will not, in case it decides, because sometimes with the pressure of the machine, it'll really work your washi tape into your paper. And what you'll end up is that when you remove or try to remove the supposedly low tack tape, it gets really happy about that tackiness and then rip your paper. You'll bring up paper along with it. So we're at the very least, if you keep it to the inside, which is what I'm doing, I forgot to do it here myself, it will then, if it does, if that does happen, well, it's the inside panel that you were not planning at that moment to use. You might be still sad, but at least it's not ruining your project. That's the main, that's the main thing. Now, is it okay? There's a part of me that wants to twitch already. Where's that pink one? But I think, oh, here we go. I didn't move it or anything, right? Nope. It's just this guy is just really long. So he takes up a lot of space. So now all we got to do is run him through. Oop. Okay. And so that's one. Look, a popsicle hole. Ah! Shaker. Now we have a space for our shaker bits to do their thing. Shake. Ah! Whoops. As I try to catapult things. Fly, my pretties, fly. Not tonight. Later. And another day. And another video. Okay, so now I've got both of these pieces now cut out. And see, they're ready to lay down. If I get these lined up right. There we go. If I get these to line up right. Holy mackerel. There we go. 
Did I remember? Did I even tell you guys about that thing about this requiring coordination? Oy. But see, there we go. So now we have these pieces, which will then cover. So see, I mean, we've got this. I can already, if I want, and I probably will, actually, I can already put this on. And that way it'll reinforce that. So we're just going to grab, we'll grab some of my Nouveau glue. Let's use that. That's the glue of the moment. More than anything, it was the one handy. <laughs> I was like, okay, what the heck. But we'll just squirt a little bit of glue around here. There we go. I make sure it glues down and I like this glue. This is really, I love the new ball glue. I think I, every glue I have, I love for it's each for its own little reasons. This one in particular, because it dries fast. Sometimes that's not a good thing, but at this point it's going to force me to have my act together. Heaven forbid, but there we go. So now I have that and it's reinforced and maybe I'll struggle a little bit less when I start to, Try to straighten this down. But now we'll just take this and do the same thing. And let's just take it, put it on my popsicle stick, and then just run a bit of a bead all the way around. Just enough to make it glue down. There we go. Oy. Close that. Whoops. And then we'll just lay that down right here. Okay. And now our hole is reinforced. Now we can grab our card because the other thing I have to do now is line up, line this up more or less, but I gotta see where and just slip and slide this right in there. Woohoo. And make sure, see, I can do that. It doesn't matter about the bottom and it's sticking out there because it's not going to be seen because the other panel piece will hold it in place. What I'm going to do now is let me do this. I'm going to grab a handy dandy pencil. I'm going to just do that. Or now I know where this side piece goes in, and then all I'm going to do, do I wanna use wet glue or do I wanna use, yeah, I'm gonna use wet glue. And not only am I gonna use wet glue, but we're gonna use the, the fast drying wet glue, which will defeat the purpose of using the wet glue in the first place, which is to give me, oops, I thought some glue go somewhere. Nope, optical illusion. Except I know me, I'm capable of a great many things. Remember guys, this is my purpose in life, is to make you feel better about your own scrapbooking abilities because whatever it is that you think you've done once trust me I've done it ten times at least there we go now we we'll just take this oh, this is hilarious I hear Elvis oh he moved to the kitchen table to try to steal something and you guys I had to stop I had just started videotaping when he just hopped on the desk and decided he was going to try to see and, and just really check out to see what he was going to steal and what he was doing was stealing the scene so I had to stop, but now see I'm on the kitchen table seeing, well, okay, I didn't find anything here, mom. So apparently I will have to go elsewhere. The klepto cat that he has, but there we go. See, now that's in place. And now what I'll do is I'll turn around, do the same thing. I struggled way more the last time when I did this, guys, just so you know, <laughs> but I figured it out. <laughs> But I, I, I really do. I, I'm an idiot. I really do struggle needlessly. Oh. Uh oh. There we go. It wasn't a glue eraser, but it was an eraser, and it erased the glue. And if not, guess what? I'm going to put a sequence there or something. We'll figure it out. But see, that's what, what I tell you about making mistakes. I'm also choosing not to stress over it. It's wonderful when you don't have much of an ego. <laughs> it's like, okay, bye. More than likely I'm the only one. You guys will know because you just saw me try to fix it. Nobody else will notice it. Okay, so let me just lift up my piece of paper. So, And I'm just going to mark it right around the edge. 
right there, right there, right there. And then that'll just give me my little guidelines to sidle it right in. Make sure I get the glue off my finger. And then let's just put a little bit around each. I really don't have to go to that much trouble, really, because it's going to be layered on top of a, or beneath another piece of paper. But there you go. There we go. I don't need that much. I'll put my pretty lid back on. And then we're just going to lay that piece of paper right down inside my little pencil lines. And there we go. Asta pasta. We are done. Marchi, now we lay down these pieces, and you can now see the beginnings of this coming together. Now we are ready, due to the part that drove me absolutely bat crazy. Okay, we'll leave the rest off. You guys know what I meant. <laughs> We're going to try to keep it clean here. One thing is you have to make sure you have this turned upside down or, you're, or right side up, excuse me, or you'll be really struggling. But part of it is laying this lining. If you can get this lined up perfectly, it's great. It's just trying to do all of this and trying to keep it because you, the only way to do it is to remove the tape. But I'm going to try to only do a partial removal and try in uh, hopes of not, you know, of saving myself some struggle. But what I also have to do is I've got to get my shaker bits in here. So I'm going to grab my bits of shaker bits and I'm using some of the, this is my Hobby Lobby Easter, but look how perfect it matches. It was like meant to be. So it's one of the three bags I bought at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to toss in some of this stuff, which is what I got from Spellbinders. I mean, look at it. I just barely got the jar and I'm already, <coughs> excuse me, a little over halfway through it. That's how much I like the stuff in it. I'm going to throw a little bit of the pink bits and this is the which came with the kit with the Nuvo, my candy hearts and I'm throwing in some of this iridescent white just for good measure but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and grab where'd it go where is wow you know what we're just going to use the little one there we go we're just going to use this I know that I have my embossing buddy somewhere and I just I just spotted it, but I'm not going to go crazy looking for it. I'm going to go in with this. There we go. You can tell, and then it just smells so good. But I go ahead and do that because I always have seen they have, I'm going to rub it along here, an issue with static with sequins. So by doing that, you remove some of that problem. And now I'll remove our tape here. There we go. And then using this to more or less, it doesn't have to be perfect. But once, see now I'm struggling even less because I didn't do this. I did this before. There you go. So now that is held in place. I'm going to have to play with this a little tiny bit. And you'll have to forgive me. I think I'm still going to have a bit of a problem with the shaker bits. So you might want to learn from this, which is I still, I think, overloaded it a little bit. Could have probably gone with a little bit less. But now, take my tape. Let me push these guys back and back, 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 beasties, back. Whoopsie. Oy. And I already got I already got one stuck. That little yellow one was determined. I could see it. There we go. But I got my job. This time I struggled less. I still struggled a bit because I'm a numb nuts. Right there, we've got that done. I got sparkly bits here, sparkly bits there, sparkly bits all over the place. But now I'm ready. All I have to do now is lay this down. But let's do this guy first. You will now do the same thing once again. But now I'm going to. But now I have these two down. So then all I have to do. All we have to do is tape these down. 
and I will grab Big Mama. Start with them. There's really no rhyme or reason as to which one you want to, of the two panels you want to glue down. It really doesn't matter because, like I said, I'll cut a strip off of the green just to overlap both of them, just to add that little extra detail. So all I have to do here is just, this panel is just the season, um, cover up our very youth looking background right now. So all I have to do is just make sure it lines up there. There we go. So now we're here and there is a bit of an overlap, not perfectly, which is why I ended up then grabbing a piece of the green. Let me open up my little handy dandy box I've just left right there. And this is what I have left of the green. It hurt me to cut this up. And I've used a piece of it because I did. I used a piece of the green also for one of the other cards that you will also be seeing today. But I, I, I just, I was like, because <gasps> it's such a pretty paper, you don't want to use it. And then I said, Myra, get over yourself, really. And we're just going to grab my little handy dandy guillotine guy. And I think I did it about three eighths, but really it's just whatever makes you happy. Just eyeball it and then just cut a strip off. And then you cut it to five inches because that the width doesn't matter. It really, I think I did like three eighths. You can make a five, five, a half an inch, whatever flops your mop. But the important part is that it is five inches long because needless to say, it's not going to do you a boatload of good if it is not the length of your card. So see, so now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put tape down go this way and then turn it around try to keep it from sticking to me and go that way. Set Big Mama aside there and stay. Bring that back in. And then again, it is not, you don't have to center it because you, you notice I made one panel bigger than the other. What I did do with the other card, and I'm going to do again, is I'm going to make use of my straight line with the gingham. And then I'm just going to use that as what will help me to keep this straight, is use it as a guide. And there we go. And now we have that done, and we are ready for the sentiment. So give me a second, and I'll be right back. Well, I have returned. And I'm winging it again. God help us all. But I changed my mind. I looked at this and I liked it, but I didn't like it. I could never put my finger upon it earlier. And it was just this. So I've decided to pull some of the yellow. This is some of the new paper I got from Tonic. And it is buttermilk yellow because it seemed to pick up very well. Buttermilk, right? Yes, buttermilk. From here, look close enough for government work. So I'm gonna stamp this, use this as my main layer and then cut out a square of this. I know I have more of it, I just can't find it for the life of me. The minute I cut this paper out, I promise you, when I'm done with the video, it's gonna turn up. It's gonna be right in front of me saying, neener, 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 yeah. Because that's just the way it is. But I'm going to go ahead and stamp. I've already pulled out my Missy and I'm gonna just toss things around here. So that, that way I can lose that too. We'll just move our magnets off to the side. And I'll put my little strip of paper here down. We'll use that corner there just because. And I'm going to grab these are the stamps that came with it. And I decided to use sending sugar coated, uh, sugar, sugar coated hugs. Some of the ones stay cool would have been cool too, but I like this one better with all, everything, all things considered. Although you've got this look, that would be great for an encouragement card. And stay jolly, have a lolly. I, I, I'll be honest with you, this is probably the only one I didn't feel. But that's just, I believe, because it's more of a, um, a British, UK thing. And it's not something that we would necessarily say. So, but regardless, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to go ahead, crazy as it may sound. And we all know I am the mad scrapper after all, so I need to live up to that. And I'm going to stamp straight on the textured side of the paper what could go wrong <laughs> right? what am i thinking 
I'm some kind of a nut. I am. My, you know, the peanut gallery can assure you of that fact. And let me grab my Versafine, which is right behind me. And let's see what happens. You know, guys, you know what is the absolute worst thing that could happen is that it's going to look terrible. And then we are going to flip the piece of paper over and stamp on the flat side, the non-textured side. But, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's the way I look at it. So let's see what, what happens. But does that work? Um, I don't know. Right. We're going to give it a... <laughs> and yeah, it was an epic fail. So it was going to... I'm going to have to press too hard to get that to print. So there you go, guys. You can now say, we could have told you this, Myra. I don't know what you were thinking. <sighs> That's all right. I tried. I tried. Okay, so it is, I set it accidentally right at the two-inch mark. Because now all we're going to do is, la. although now you can't, you can see it because I pressed so many times. So, okay, so we're going to go, la. and you have to remember when you do this, you have to do it with the musical intonation, la. <laughs> and, right, it'll work. Yep. And one more time because practice makes perfect. Now, let's see. We should not have problems here. Ha! On the first try, peeps, on the first try. I'm leaving it like that. Because this is a bit thickish, and I'm afraid, you know, in trying to clean up edges or whatnot, there is really no edges to clean up. Okay, we'll just, I'm just going to leave it attached there for right now. I just need to get it out of the way. Now, what I need to do, let me move my Misty out of the way. Grab yon handy dandy guillotine, and we're going to trim this down. Excuse me. And what I do is I'm lining up the edge of the words with the edge of my guide. It's a little Tim Holtz trimmer trick I, I learned watching other YouTubers, and it works pretty much here. If I do that on all my edges, if I can't do it this way. I'm going to do it this way. There we go. Then it will be, they will be equidistant. So each end will be just the right distance. And we do this a lot with those, like those sentiments that are, you know, those little tiny, you know, microscopic strips that make you just completely crazy. And I don't want to do that. Or any of you saying, why am I wasting that much paper? Why were you guys not yelling at me? I count on you guys to save me from myself. Okay. I was just trying to make it easy because now it gets a little bit harder to fiddly fart with it, but it's still fiddly fartable. And let's just line it up here a little bit more. Looks good. Let's snip there. And last one right here. And I went to, you know, I really went looking around going crazy trying to find a die to cut the sentiment out at, and I go, why? I have perfectly good trimmer, paper trimmers here. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just keep it simple, stupid. And I admit it, I confess. And there we go. And then last cut. So now I've got that part cut down. So that part, give or take, let's see, how wide is it? It is an inch and a half. So and I want it to be about an eighth of an inch. So that means I'm going to cut it to an inch and three quarters. Just so I have that eighth of an inch around. And eh, maybe I may go seven eighths. And that will give me just a little bit wider. So you do get a little bit of the speckly bit. So let's do that. Let's go inch and seven. Inch and seven eighths. And I think in my instructions down when I wrote down on my notepad as I was, you know, doing this I just wrote use scraps of pieces of paper so but if you find yourself having to do what I am just doing because I cannot find the scrap pieces of paper <laughs> yeah then so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is be totally insane and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down or tape it down whichever whatever makes me happy tape right now is what's making me happy so 
You know, I go both edges. And maybe just once in the middle again. It just needs to be held down in place again. It does not need to survive the zombie apocalypse. Zombies can't read anyway. At least I think they can't. Anybody watch The Walking Dead? Can anybody tell me that? <laughs> I haven't watched it in a while. We're so behind. And it's so cute. My 91-year-old mother, she loves that show. I'm just like, oh, it's been so good. And we're like, okay, sure. Mom. And it, it's just so cute. You look at this sweet, 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 sweet lady who loves to watch The Walking Dead. Cracks me up. Now, all I got to do is more or less, and here I'm just purely, hoping you can see, I'm just purely eyeballing. I don't know that. Let me see. Does it look like I'm going to go a little bit over? So let's see. What if I do it? Let's find out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm lining up the edge of the paper with the inside of my guide. How does that work? Oh, my God. That's like almost picture perfect. Maybe a little off. A little bit off. We'll see. Let me figure this out. Because it is a little tiny bit off. So I'm going to take off a sliver here. And I'd rather do it a sliver at a time and torture all of us than be than overkill it. Right? And there we go. It's it's pretty, pretty close. It's not perfect. I could take another sliver off here off the side. But then, and thank the Lord that this guillotine allows me to do that. And it's really sharp. It's really good. I really love it. I mean, those of you that love Tonic and Tim Holtz, by all means, more power to you. I'm not lying to you. I got this because it was teal and white. <laughs> I would be, you know, if I'm lying, I'm dying. And there, so we've got that. We're ready just to put down my sediment. So let me grab some foam tape because I did set it up and where is it there it is oh now take and lay it down now go this way let me strip there where are my scissors there they are go right where i put them snip there And then we're going to snip there on the other end. But this is my lovely 99 cent store foam tape that ended up working just fine. I wanted just a bit of dimension, not a ton of it. But if I wanted more, then I could just, you know, double up the tape. But I'm ready for that. Do I want to double it up? What do you guys think? Nah, I'm going to leave it that way. Let's not get too crazy here. Let's remove our tapes. And there we go. All I have to do now is lay it down. Do I want to make that cattywampus too? Hmm. What do you guys think? Should I go a little bit or should I do it straight? Let me look at it. I'm feeling the cattywampus, so we'll have more of, well, and, and, and now we are because it just stuck. But there you go. We have got a very cute card kind of slammed together. This is not, I, it, as much as I say it's art, but let's be honest here, the Mona Lisa, it's not. But it's a cute card, fairly quickly put together with less struggle than the first one. Trust me, it took me twice, no, I won't say twice as long, but it took me longer. And, and there you go. Do we, I may add some sequins. I mean, we could, we could like, I've got them literally, literally, literally laying around, except now I don't because I'm saying I literally have them laying around, but here's one of them. I don't know if I want to do a few here or just leave well enough alone. I mean, just leave well enough alone and just like, leave it at that. Cause I think it's cute enough there as is. So there you have it. There's the first of the three cards I'm making with tonics. This is kit number 41. I do believe it is still available. Sweet Sorbet is the trending item now. So I'm pretty sure there's some still left. So I'll link it down below if you want to order it and join the club. 
it is when you become a member i believe it is 39.99 and it includes the shipping and um you've already seen the unboxing so they give you a lot of goodies you get a lot of bang up for your buck out of your kit but I will be back in a little bit with the next card in the series. Um, if you enjoyed this, please just give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this, subscribe. Otherwise, run away, run away, save yourselves, and ring the bell, okay? <laughs> no matter what. But thanks a lot, guys. I'll be right back at you. Thanks for hanging with me.